Good morning, everyone. It's your girl, Annie. Welcome back to my channel, and hello if you are new here. If you are new here and thrifting, but more importantly, Halloween and all things spooky season is your jam, I would love to have you subscribe to the channel because I really think you're gonna like it here. Okay, today is November 1st, and I am in mourning. I think a lot of you can understand. Halloween has passed. It is officially Christmas season, <laughs> but um, we're not doing Christmas here yet. That is coming, but today, we're gonna go spooky clearance hunting. We're gonna look for the Halloween deals, see if we can score anything. And I am gonna come back here when we're done out in the stores. I may do one or two of these videos, who knows. But today, when we come back, I'm gonna sit on the computer and go through like Michael's, Joann's, those kinds of stores, see what they have online, take y'all with me and stuff like that. I think I may do one collective spooky clearance haul, so stay tuned for that as well. We're going to figure it all out as we go, but I think I'm going to grab Sir Edgar and then our first stop is probably going to be Target and Marshalls. Anyways, I will check back in with you when we go to the store. So I'm going to grab Sir Edgar, put him in the car, grab my stuff, and I will see you at our first stop. All right, everyone, our first stop is going to be TJ Maxx and then Ross. They're right next to each other. So we're going to go check those two places out. I just want to let y'all know it's 90 degrees. I hate it here. Okay, let's go in the store and make ourselves feel better by looking at the spooky things. I'll see you in there. Cute. Table, both clear and stuff. That is brushes. More are we done? How much are you? Twelve dollars. getting to the good stuff let's see what do we have back here i really did want to leave in the audio from the store but the music was just way too loud and i'm not trying to get copyrighted so we're gonna do a little bit of a voice over here but are you seeing all of the spooky clearance i'm surprised they have as much as they do quite honestly but the stuff that's left is basically ray dunn and baking things anyways We do have a couple of gems like this little jack-o-lantern. It's metal. 
and it was 50% off. And well, <laughs> you see where that went. I thought this may have opened to be one of those storage books, but it does not. However, it was only $5. And then this little sign is only three. So some good prices on little decorative accents. So, so cute with that color palette, the black and gold. Literally a ton of these baking cups on clearance at TJ Maxx. So if you wanna stock up for spooky parties or even next year, I would definitely advise doing that now. Like all of these basically down here are baking items. Look at this little mug, it's so cute. Yeah, I don't love that. No. Okay, and do we see this lamp? It was on sale for $20 and they did have another one. Guys, that's crazy because these are super popular during the Halloween decor hunting season. And the witch's boots, these were 50% off, so only 10 bucks. I was super tempted to grab them and just take the florals out, but decided to leave them behind. Look at this mug, that is so cute. Most of the mugs here at this TJ Maxx were 50% off. So that is such a good deal. Tons. tons and tons of spooky mugs. I'm so surprised at how much Ray Dunn is left for how crazy people go for it. Look at how cute. cute this is. Got pink. Got, so cute. Got one more little area over here. So this is like a giant mortar and pestle almost with this skull. Honestly I would use the skull for flowers and just not use the little pestle part but you know teach his own. I can't believe they only had one of these wine glasses, only $4. I have not seen that one before. Lots of tabletop things left here for clearance items, but I'm not mad at it because you can definitely find some really good things. Don't forget about your pup. They've got stuff for your doggies too. Look at that. And these little tennis balls. They're so cute. All right, we have moved on to Spirit. I was looking for one particular item and spoiler alert, I did not find it. However, I'm very surprised at how much stuff was left in the store. They did change it though from last year. The first day after Halloween was only 25% off and then their last day being open, which is November 2nd, is when all of the merchandise is 50% off. Last year, it went 50% off. November 1st so anyways that's kind of a bummer but they just had a ton of stuff left over which is really surprising mm -hmm. 
like a ton, and I mean a ton of different tombstones and skulls and all the different lines. They just had so much merchandise left. This is cool though, like a little skull garland. If you do like a creep miss kind of thing, that'd be really cute for a black tree. A ton of Beetlejuice stuff left. Look at all of the Beetlejuice stuff left, like this candlestick holder. What? In. Sane. I feel like I didn't even see some of this stuff when I actually went to Spirit to shop. And of course we have some Nightmare Before Christmas merch and this little apothecary sign. Everything was 25% off like I did mention and I don't know. I just wasn't feeling the prices at only 25% off and there wasn't anything that I needed to have but I did love this ghost face bobblehead. Ugh! They also had Michael but look at all of their mugs. It's spooky clearance mug heaven over here. At TJ Maxx, too. They had a ton of spooky mugs left. Okay, we left Spirit. Spirit has a lot of things left. So today is 25% off. Tomorrow is the last day that they're open. That is the day that everything is 50% off. So I'm going to take my chances and come back tomorrow. There are some things that I want as like props for next year. And then I want to get some like skulls and stuff. But they had enough left that I'm not too worried. So we're going to take our chances and come back tomorrow. I am going to pop over to Marshall's because it's right at the end of the plaza. And then I'll see y'all back at home. I just want to take a moment to appreciate this Jeep. Like, we know she shops at Spirit, okay? I absolutely freaking love this. Are you kidding? Love it. All right, we're moving on to Marshall's. Now, Marshall's did not have a ton, uh, which is to be expected but also disappointing. So they just had kind of like a mix match of everything. They had soap dispensers. They had tabletop decor. They had dish towels, random little bowls. They just had a lot of random things and there was absolutely nothing that stood out to me. Bummer. So this little snow globe was $12 on clearance. What else do we have here? I'm kind of all over the place because there's like no real organization, but what are you gonna do? It's clearance. So here are some of the dish towels that are left over. None that stood out to me, but there is a Joanna Parker one that we're gonna look at here in a second. That was adorable. Where is it? Here we go. Here it is. Here it is. This little witch gal, she's precious. I didn't get a price because I just, I don't know. I blanked on getting the price for y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm going to say it was probably like five or six dollars. 
650 for this little tumbler. And what else do we have here? More radon. Lots of radon. And these skull decanters were super cool. If I remember correctly, they were not marked uh, down on clearance. So they should be. I just don't know how much they would have been marked down to. Look at all the radon, you guys, I'm telling you, that's crazy. Remember when women would like fist fight over Halloween and Christmas radon, and now it's just sitting here on clearance. I did love that little snow globe, that little haunted house one. It just did not have a price tag on it. Look at these little radon pumpkins. She done, she's got her hand in everything. The infamous ghosty is half off at $7.50. And then we do have, uh, like I said, more Ray Dunn. Wild. Ray Dunn, I think we're going to need to switch it up next year for Halloween. People weren't really digging your stuff. I say that because it's all still left in the store on clearance. Loved the Sanderson sister mug. It was not marked down on clearance though, which is so weird. I'm sure they would have marked it down for you at the, at the cashier, but I wasn't trying to go through all that. Additional 20% off all Halloween. Mm -mm. What do we have here? Trunk or treat. Oh my god, I've never seen these before. Mira. Additional 25% off. Wow. Oh no. I don't like those. They're $3.50. Hand soaps. Little napkin rings. Ooh. What? Sweet and spooky. Oh, canisters, a lot of radon stuff, which is wild. Ooh, what is this? A brush set? That's cute. Alrighty, we've got stuff. Kidding me? Look at all of this radon. This is crazy. Oh, I've never seen this one. That's cute. Oh my goodness. I feel like I need this. Trick or tequila. That's hilarious. Look at all this stuff. That's wild. Look at these cute canisters. $9. Extra 25% off. Look, all the stuff. Two little bags. Oh, we have like Halloween pajamas. That's cute. We, think we may have to go searching. That is so cute. Look at that mixing bowl. Happy Halloween. 19 bucks, 25% off too. All of these. What is this? Cat with Jeepers Creepers. I don't understand the cat with Jeepers Creepers, but okay. Oh my god, this little one. A ton.
Oh my gosh, I bought this full price. How much is it now? 15 bucks, extra 25% off. That's crazy. Ooh. Look at this. That's cute. Six bucks. Hold on to that. Please. How precious. I'm gonna eat eight napkins. Cute. Look what's over here. Oh my gosh, these things, guys. I love these. <gasps> Dishcloths. Yes. How much are these? Five bucks, extra 25% off. Can you wash them? We'll assume yes. Our little dish cloth, cute. This is adorable. Six bucks. Oh, look at that, witch hat. What else is down here? Dog bowls. How much is the large one? Ten bucks. So cute. Dog toys. Seven bucks. There are some dog toys that I'm looking for. It's a set of three little ghosts. They're so cute. So we'll have to see if we can find those. And these little felt garlands. All sorts of colors. What's over here? Oh no. I found another little end cap with Halloween clearance. Let's see. We have some candles. Ooh. Oh, it's a Woodwick candle. Spice clove. Ten bucks. Extra 25% off. What's down here? Big witch's brew. What's this one? Pumpkin latte. That one's not marked. More radon canisters. Check out this candle. I would never light this. Five bucks. crystals on it. Cute. That smells good. Ooh, that smells good. We have the little containers. Six bucks, extra 25% off. More candles. They're bath petals. Um, hello. Three dollars. That's so cute. Okay, these are precious. Don't know why they're not marked down though. These. That's so cute. Hmm. Oh my god. How adorable. Look how cute these are. The little bat. also have these. I like that. Kind of like filigree in the back with little bats. 
10 bucks. A lot of pillows back here but not a lot of them are marked so who knows but we'll take a look this cute spooky house situation what is this <gasps> look at this cute bat lumbar pillow i don't love this it's happening back here i don't love that here is the tag 19 bucks I saw this one, this one's kind of cute, but I don't like these things. And we have an entire little section here of bathroom items, like soap pumps, little canisters, some rugs, all that good stuff. So we're gonna take a closer look. Most of the soap dispensers were $10, and again, less an extra 25%. Aside from this one, which is amazing, it was $12. Apparently it lights up or something. There was like room for batteries. Um, I didn't really take a good look at it, but it was so cute. One singular shower curtain had some bugs on it. And then all of the bath mats down there. I did find another aisle of spooky clearance at this home goods with some gems hidden in here. Look at this skull serve plate, serving platter, whatever you want to call it. We just had, we had some good stuff in here. Look at this little spooky house. That's so cute. I believe it was $10. And this was a candle, candlestick holder. I have never seen this before. Sorry for the shaky camera. But wow, that was so, so cool. It'd be a really good little makeover project. Oh yeah. We had some barware, like little low ball cups and look at that decanter. The top is actually a shot glass. That's amazing. This is so cute if you have, I'm just thinking like Airbnb in Salem, you know? Um, to put your little Wi-Fi passcode on there. That is adorable. I mean, you can just use it for whatever, but I think that'd be really cute for an Airbnb in Salem. I loved this snow globe. I loved the shape of it, and it had a little skeleton man sitting in front of a bookcase full of books, so kind of very on brand for me. A little disappointed it didn't have bats as the little glitter things, but you know, you can't have it all. And this was some sort of candle, but that skull just looked very not, not right. <laughs> it just did not look good. We have a set of napkins here. These are amazing. I believe you get 12 for $10. That's a steal. Not even gonna lie. More little canisters with a little crow as the topper. That's adorable. It's only, I think it was $9, which that's not really clearance being marked down from $9.99, but do your thing, home goods. And then here we just have a lot more napkins and such. Okay, we're moving on to another home goods. And the first thing that I see is this little bowl thing. I don't know what the hand is supposed to do or if it's supposed to hold anything, but what a cool candy bowl. I believe it was $24 marked down from 30 plus an extra 25% off. Guys, I do not remember home goods doing that last year, so 
they're really trying to move out to Halloween. These cups are really neat with the hand as the handle of the cup and then just an assortment of spooky candles. These bowls are really cute with the eyeballs. And then I find a little candle back here that has this little pink spooky house. Why do I feel like that'd be really cute for Christmas? Yeah, I think that'd be cute for Christmas. And then we're just taking a browse at the shelves just to see what they've got. And as you could have guessed, there is a lot of gnomes and a lot of Ray Dunn left. Love these beaded coasters. You get a set of four for $10. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding? Extra 25% off. I'm tempted. Shoot. Can I take the lights off? <gasps> Babe, I could take the lights off. Mm. So those trees were absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I no words. They were absolutely amazing. And basically, this entire shelf is um, just Ray Dunn mugs. Anyone you could ever want or even possibly think of is here on clearance. But I did see this trio of stacked ghosties on clearance. They have two of them. These are like such hot commodities during the um, Halloween decor hunting season, so I cannot believe that they have two here marked down. Wild. This little jack-o'-lantern trio was absolutely adorable. I think I would probably paint the whole thing actually, but definitely the stems. Uh, the stems were a little too yellow gold for me, but here we go. We have more of a little ghosty jackpot over here. I loved these wooden figurines, I guess you could call them. This one's marked down to $19. I love all of these and especially that tombstone one back there. So cute. And then there's this guy. All right, everyone, that is going to wrap up our spooky clearance hunting for this season. I'm getting this video out a lot later than I had wanted and anticipated. And I wanted to do at least two videos, but it's just not going to work. There is no point, I feel like, to continue doing spooky clearance hunting in mid-November. Um, Cause at this point, a lot of places are already sold out and a lot of people are already moving on into Christmas. So this is gonna be my one and only spooky clearance hunting video i did my best y'all so i hope you guys enjoyed it i will be doing a spooky clearance haul for you guys so i'm actually going to film that right after i'm done with this so stay tuned for the haul very very soon i just want to give a big thank you again to all of you for being here and celebrating spooky season with me whether you join this channel at the beginning of halloween decor hunting or if you have supported the channel all the way through its entirety. I am so, so appreciative for you guys 
watching and commenting and subscribing and all the good stuff and for just being here so thank you thank you thank you i will be doing christmas decorate with me videos i'm going to do an unboxing video and then start the decorating videos probably at the end of november um, I'm just not ahead of the game like all these other youtubers are I'm still in Halloween mode So and I do have a trip coming next week. So I'm gonna be gone the entire week and it's just it's a whole thing guys Okay, so again, I hope you guys enjoyed spooky clearance hunting with me. Thank you for spending spooky season with me I cannot wait until next year. I have some big big plans with all that being said if you guys like today's video i would love for you to give it a thumbs up it would mean a lot to me and youtube really loves to see it it's such a small thing that y'all can do to help out any youtuber that you watch um but i would love it if you liked my videos and more than that if you guys are liking the content thus far if you're excited to see the haul and for all the christmas videos to come within the next weeks go ahead and subscribe to the channel it would mean the world to me and once again i just have to say thank you thank you thank you so much for spending your spooky season with me i cannot wait for next year and until the next one bye guys